we did it. Went from $3,642 at age 20 in university to over $1.4 million at age 24 in the span of about three and a half years, running my own businesses, investing in myself, and just proving that if you're willing to do whatever it takes, if you're willing to learn every day, if you're willing to sacrifice pleasure today for wealth building and goal achievement and progress in the future, if you're willing to delay gratification and stick to your goals, it pays off in the end and I, I, it doesn't feel real to be honest. I became a millionaire at 24 and it's, it's a huge dream of mine. It was my biggest goal. When I was 20 years old, every single morning, I'd write down in my journal that I had over $1 million net worth by age 29 because in my mind, it was such a significant goal to become a millionaire before 30. And I thought, you know, I would be proud of myself if I became a millionaire before 30. So when I was in school, I actually started 19 years old. I'd write down every single morning in my journal that I had over $1 million net worth by age 29. Every single night before bed, I have over $1 million net worth by age 29. Every single day over those years, and I would take actions necessary to move myself closer to the goal. As it was becoming more and more real over the years, just a few years, I moved up the target to age 26. And it, for a while, I had in my head, wow, you know, it'd be crazy if I could achieve it by age 26. Next thing you know, I achieve it by age 24. 24. This means the world to me. And this is just the beginning. I'm setting the next goals. I have massive targets. The next big target is 10 million by age 29. But in this video today, I'm gonna to show you all throughout the whole journey from start to finish, from 20 years old, being in school, in university, to now, 24 years old, what I did from those years, three and a half years, to get to where I was having $3,642 to over $1.4 million. Because it's a huge passion of mine to learn as much as I can, apply what I learn, and then share what I learn. Because if I find out something that, that improves my life, I'm the type of person that wants to share that with you so you can go out there and improve your life. So I'm gonna take you through my journey and show you how I did it. All I ask in return is that you subscribe for more videos like this and my own portfolio updates so we can build our wealth together. I took a little hiatus. I was focused on my business. I was overwhelmed, running too many things. I'm able to make more time and energy for YouTube now, so I'm really excited and you're gonna like what I got for you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you really appreciate the transparency. I know I always wanted someone to share everything they did to build their wealth. So that's why I'm sharing all of this for you. We're going back to January, 2017. I tracked my net worth every single month or almost every single month from 20 years old all the way to this date. I now update it every single month at the beginning of the month to see how it's trending. And I'll show you the chart as well. And I highly suggest you do the same because again, the more you track something, the more it's gonna increase. You're going to make the decisions necessary to increase your net worth if you track it each month. So that's what I did. We'll see May 2017 is when I dropped out of university. I finished the semester, didn't go back, and I was at my lowest all-time net worth, $3,642.81 to my name. I remember going to my checking account and that's all I had total. Check-ins account, that much and that's May 2017, I was running my online coaching business earning 1,000 to 2,000 a month and I immediately went full tilt and I was working as, as hard as I could and I brought that income up to 4,000 a month, up to 5,000 a month and I got, went ahead and got a job at Orange Theory Fitness October 2017 and I was saving money, I'm living at home with my, with my parents, spending no more than about 1,000 a month while I'm increasing my income. So this is what I highly suggest we all do if we're looking to gain wealth over a, a very short period of time, very fast. You're gonna to wanna to increase income, keep expenses low, save the difference, save as much as you can, and then invest early. I didn't invest till later, I'm gonna see that. So I got the job at Orange Theory Fitness. I'm running my online co coaching business. I'm running about 5,000, 6,000 a month, and I'm saving all, as much as I can. So you'll see that as we progress. Through the whole year, I get up to about $50,000. I hired my business coach here in November 2018. He helped me get my income right up to 10K a month and beyond. And that's where you've seen him saving so much. Like look at December to January. In one month, my net worth went up $9,000. That's purely from saving. I'm increasing my income. I'm living at home. I'm not spending a ton of money. And then I'm saving all of that. So that's the year 
where I'm now 22 years old, January 2019. Lessons learned there, keep expenses low, work as hard as you can on something you're really passionate about, and don't get distracted by everything else. Focus on one thing you're passionate about, go all in, be the best at it, and then hire a mentor, hire a coach, hire someone who knows how to get you to where you wanna be. Uh, so that's what goes hand in hand there. And the third thing is to save as much as possible and learn how to invest in stocks and real estate throughout this period. I was reading tons of books every single day on real estate investing. That's what I was initially about to go into. And I was about to, actually about to buy a duplex here when I had $60,000. That's a, a video for another day. I was very close to closing in on a duplex here to rent out. Um, but I did not. And I'm happy I didn't because I invested in Tesla stock and got much better returns. So let's go into the next year now. Here's where things get a lot more interesting. The next year, I was again saving about 10,000 a month at this point in the first earlier stages of 2019 at 22 years old because my income was upwards of 15,000 a month and I'm saving as much as I can possibly living at home still. And as you see, I'm buying Tesla stock. So I started buying Tesla stock in April 2019 as you guys saw in my previous videos and I put every dollar into Tesla stock you can look back on my previous videos where I show all the investments I made. I invested in previous stocks, but when I realized the the potential of Tesla, I was selling all the other stocks and putting everything into Tesla. Ended up getting over $100,000 into Tesla stock and continued to buy shares every single month. And what you're seeing here is I did a lot of traveling, went to a lot of music festivals in the summer of 2019, but you see my net worth increased by 10,000 a month or more. This is where Tesla stock starts climbing. Remember, Tesla hit its bottom in June 2019. I was buying shares all throughout this period, and Tesla was $200 a share pre-split. Post-split, that would be $40 a share right now. My current average cost basis is around $250 pre-split, so my real average cost basis on Tesla is about $50 to $60 per share after the split right now, if we're looking at, if we're talking about current levels. So I was, I was buying all throughout this whole period and you're seeing my net worth go crazy. I partnered with some business partners, went to music festivals, did a lot of traveling. It was still earning 15,000 a month and putting everything into Tesla. November, 2019, you know, I'm 23 years old at this point. This is just one year ago, one year ago, November, 2019, $167,000 net worth. And then we go to 178, $212,000. I was feeling burnt out, I was feeling passionless at this point, but I was still trying to do what I can, you know, trying to service my clients. I was just, I was overworked for so, such a long period of time. And that's the thing, like, we really have to push ourselves to our limits to increase our income and save as much as we can. And, you know, there's been plenty of times where I've burnt out from working far too much and not giving myself enough time to relax, but, I saw it as I'm paying the price today, so that way later on down the road, I won't have to work as hard because I put in so much work up front that this whole wheel will gonna, is gonna be working for me down the road. And well, I'm already tasting the fruits now, much earlier than I anticipated, but I'm gonna keep this going because we're gonna keep the growth going. So we see coronavirus hits right here. And um, I, was, I had like $350,000. I actually watched my Tesla stock go from 350K worth down to $150,000 worth in about a month. But I held through, held through the whole time. Um, I ended up leaving, uh, leaving my business partners to pursue growth coach, my own new company again, uh, focusing more on a holistic approach, helping people with, with their finances, with their mindset and improving their body. Uh, and I'm still doing that, running six week challenges. I'm educating my clients now on how to eat for their body and do a whole bunch of other things. And I'm loving that. I love the educational piece now. So I transitioned my business model from you know, giving people the everything they need to teach them how to do everything themselves now. And I find uh, this is it's it's more more enjoyable on my end and people get better results. So as we see the net worth skyrockets as Tesla skyrockets. So May 2020 we recover 329,000. Then in one month 386,000, then 458,000, 593 all the way up to 906,000 in September when there was the stock split and Tesla hit $500 a share. After the stock split, we get some sell-offs, October 880,000, November, coronavirus fears come in, no stimulus. We see a sell-off, 684,000 is my net worth in November. And I have been doing very well with margin trading. Uh, I haven't been showing you guys the trades, but I've been making 
upwards of fifty to one hundred thousand dollars a month in the past couple months through margin trading. Uh, now I'm at one point two five million for the start of December, and December is going to be a, over a one hundred thousand dollar month for me. And what we're looking like in January 2021, I'm with those gains I make with margin trading, I'm going to buy 200 more Tesla shares and I'll have 1,755 Tesla shares in January. And if we assume that Tesla will sell off after the inclusion coming up and go down to 550 a share, well then my net worth will be 1.4 million in January. Now, this isn't to boost and as of today, right now, as of today, right now, my net worth actually is 1.4 million if we factor in my account with real estate and some cash. And I'll show you my account update at the end of the video. So stay tuned for the end of the video. But I just wanted to share this with you so you can be inspired and see exactly how I went from broke to over 1.4 million in three and a half years. We're talking $3,642 to my name at 20 years old to 1.4 million at age 24. When I say it, it, it sounds like a scam. It's almost too good to be true. But I'm, I'm just an example of, of how you can achieve anything if you truly want it bad enough and you envision exactly what you want. I wrote down in my journal every single morning and every single night before bed, I was a, I'm a millionaire by age 29. I have over $1 million net worth by age 29. As the first year went on, when I was 21, I moved that target up to 27 years old. And I would write down every morning, every night, every night, every morning, every night in my journal. I have over $1 million net worth by age 27. I have over $1 million net worth by age 27. I kept writing that down. And then I would also write with that, I have over 10 million by age 35. I wrote down two, those two back to back, back to back, back to back. Then I, when I was 22, 23 years old, I'm like, wow. I might be able to achieve this by 26. So then I'm writing down, I have it by 26, I have it by 26. Next thing you know, I achieve over $1 million net worth by age 24 right now. So this is crazy, but it works. When you write down what you want, you keep it top of mind enough, and if you pay the price, you're able, it's easier to pay the price when you know what you want and you, you envision it, because then you feel it, you're like, you know, you're. It's so much easier to work so hard and learn new skills to go ahead and increase your income and it's easy to stay disciplined and keep those expenses low and invest the difference into opportunities that you believe are gonna blow up because you've been doing research daily. I was doing research every single day and I still do on the stock market, on the stocks I'm invested in, in the businesses I'm invested in. I still re read trading books, trader psychology, investment psychology endless amounts of books. So in a future video, if you'd like, leave it in the comments below if you would love for me to share all the books I've read on, on trading and on investing. Just again, comment that down below and I can make a video on that. But I just really hope you're, you're inspired and jacked up by this. So let's go on and let's continue. I'm gonna show you my account now and talk about what's what's coming next. What are we gonna do moving forward? Jumping into the account now. Most of my position is concentrated in Tesla stock. I have some Square on margin, I have Palantir on margin, I have Neo, and I have a little bit of Blink. But again, most of my portfolio is Tesla. Then, second largest position is Square. Neo and Palantir are tied, and then I have a very small position in Blink. That's my whole positions. That's my whole stock market portfolio. As we see, the current portfolio is at 1.245 million. And if we take a look at all the equities owned, we're gonna see that I have 1.8 million. So currently over $500,000 on margin. And I don't suggest using margin whatsoever. I do swing trading with margin. And it is extremely risky and I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not advising you to do anything. I'm just sharing you what I do. So we can go ahead and learn and be entertained by what I do. So. If we take a look back one year ago, again, this reflects my net worth that I just showed you. December 31st, 2019, this account was at 186,000. Then 253, coronavirus hits, we go down. 189 in March, back up. 306 in May, 396 in June, 519 in July. Tesla gets a stock split, 780,000 in September, 600,000 in October. 1 million in November, and now December 15th, 2020, 
1.245 million. Now I also have $100,000 in equity in real estate and about $50,000 I hold in cash. I really hope this video inspires you to learn more about your own investments. Do not copy anything I do. I plan on sharing my thought process behind my own trades for two reasons. Number one, I want to provide more clarity on the stock market for people because I feel like there's a large amount of the population who believes that you just put your money in the stock market and you're gonna lose it, it's very risky, and all these things. And there's bad connotation on it from a lot of people, but it's just because people aren't aware of it. So I want to simplify the stock market and I want to teach a way of thinking of the stock market so we can all think independently and choose our own companies that we believe in that will grow over time so we can grow our own investments. Because I am the type of person that whenever I discover some something and I learn from it and it benefits me, I feel compelled to share with other people because if something improves my life, I feel like I need to share this to improve your life as well. So again, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you for watching all the way to the end. My plan here is to share more content like this. So if you'd love to see more updates like this, see the trades I'm making, then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.